Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Saturday 4th, May 2024, Saturday of the fifth week of Eastertide. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Today, <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, Father. Today we are celebrating the feast of Saints Philip and James, they are apostles. They were called by Jesus to work with him. And even in their privilege, they may have not understood Jesus very well. Yet, uh, they have been called to do the job that they are supposed to do. We pray that through their intercession, we may also accomplish the things we have to do. <clears throat> These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God, and, and to, you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in, in my, my words, words, in what, what I have done, done in, in what, what I have failed to do, to do through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord the our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, the only, only begotten God Son, Son, you take Lord away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, the world receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Have, have mercy on us. us. For you For alone, alone are the Holy, are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. The Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. With, With the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit in, in the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> O God, who gladdened us each year with the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, grant us that through their prayers, a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that uh, we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preach to you, which you indeed receive, and it which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved. If you hold fast to the world, I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ did for our sins, in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, that he, after that, he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep, after that he appeared to James, then to the apostles, last of all, as the one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message go out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the permanent proclaim his handiwork. They sport out the word of today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse. Woe's voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice re resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus says to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. For now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip says to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, had I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, so us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than this, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. 
what shall we ask for? Today is the first Friday of the month. And uh, I think reading the promises of the Sacred Heart is long enough for this uh, morning homily. Now, it's not the homily, but I think there is, uh, there is nothing better to ask for than what Jesus desires we do. No? The first is, I will give them all the graces necessary in their state of life. So whatever state of life, religious or lay, no, he will give the blessing. I will establish peace in their homes. You can imagine some quarrels sometimes in the homes. Not quarrels, hatred even sometimes. I will comfort them in their all, in all their afflictions. Everybody has troubles, has problems. I will be their secure refuge during life and above all in death. This is the most important thing I think that we can ask for. I will bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. We study and eventually we go to work and uh, we need God's help in all what we do. Sinners will find in my heart the shores and infinite ocean of mercy. Lukewarm souls shall become fervent. Fervent souls, the holy ones, shall quickly mount to high perfection. I will bless every place in which an image in my, of my heart is exposed and honored. What do we put in the walls of our homes? I will give the priests the gift of touching the most hardened hearts. The priests experiences this in their hearing confessions. They can encounter very difficult cases. Those who shall promote this devotion shall have their names written in my name, in my heart. I promise you in the excessive mercy of my heart that my all-powerful love will grant to all those who receive Holy Communion on the first Fridays in nine consecutive months the grace of final perseverance. What is final perseverance? That at the end of our life we find Jesus. Uh, we here it is. They shall not die in my disgrace, nor without receiving their sacraments. My divine heart shall be their safe refuge in their last moment. Please all stand. Let us pray for the needs of the members of the church through the intercession of Saints Philip and James. Our response, preserve us in your ways, Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord, that those called to preach the gospel in any way, we, we proclaim the good news of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord that political leaders may fear God and do what is in accord with the words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord, that married couples may take to heart 
our Lord's commands to love one another, even in the most trying situations. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That the sick and the handicapped may find love in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. That God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Preserve us in your ways, Lord. Father, your Son reveals your love for us. Aided by the prayers of courageous pastors who care for your people, we bring our petitions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for the your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for the your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become for our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Peace all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the priest in glory of his name, for our good in the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. But uh, through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds and to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels and thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace all you. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins to this memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have built us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who had done your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on our son, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send your safe and most just spouse, with the blessed apostles, we send your Bosco and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called as the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, there will be done done on on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be to you. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all heal. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Anak of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Whoever has seen me, Philip, has seen the Father also. Alleluia. Please all stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Masses and the you in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.